Good kitten internet. It's been a bit. I should slide over. Make editor me, by the way. Yep. Darn it. Voted today. Votification complete. Uh, it's been a week and a half since I've played. Let's get down to it. I have my windows backwards. One moment. Sorry, I try to make it where Smack is right beneath the camera, so I'm not constantly staring over that way or over that way. Also, we have a boo kitty. And not just from an edit editor snippet either. So, where were we? Right, we have the largest military, the largest population, the highest tech, and we're winning overall, but Morgan has more money than us, that's normal, and Lal has more territory because they're the ones that lucked into a large continent. Uh, territory is always based off of how much land that you have, and for reference, in this game, generally the most land that you have, is, or land is an indicator of how well you can be doing. So everything else being equal, the player with the most land is going to be great. Um, we're losing a tiny amount of money per turn, but we have our mind worm revenue generators up. See, at this point, I think the first first real episode has been uploaded, but not that the second. I don't remember. Technically, ooh, complete. Ooh, did you see that? Um, hey, editor me, could you go ahead and um, I don't even know if I'm gonna remember. Do an instant replay type of thing. So that, I believe, was a Morganite base being taken by Yang. So apparently Morgan and Yang are at war, which is good to know. Uh, we built a trans scout patrol. Trans, not trans. Um, why did we build a scout patrol here? <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, it's probably to take care of those things. done with this area, so we're going to have you continue on and help uh, Guy Grand Memorial. So yeah, um, huh, I would have thought Morgan would have been far enough away from Yang. Apparently not. Let's find out. Um, treaty with Zack, truce with Santiago, nothing with Yang. Yang, Vendetta, Spartans. Maybe it was a Spartan base? I don't think so. Hmm. Let's go talk to our friends. Um, first off, let's go ahead and change ourselves over to be a little more amenable to everybody else. We'll get a refund on things soon enough. So, Morgan. Okay, yeah. Morgan's definitely being attacked by the Hive. Um, I don't particularly want to give you anything. I don't want to be your friend or anything like that. You have no technical data, so I don't care about you. Go away. Um, next up, we are packed sisters with Santiago. Um, you need money. Five credits per year for 243. Eh. Yang. No, I'm not going to attack Yang. Or Sparta. You've got Gatling. Okay, so you have at least better weaponry. Let's go back to what we care about. Talk to Deidre. You still don't even have a weapon. What the hell, Deidre? What the hell? No, I'm not giving you something for free. Um, you probably don't have anything I care about, do you? Um, research data, maybe? Nope. Uh, lol. No, I'm not going to give you a free tech, but the fact that it didn't offer for an exchange means that you don't have any tech that I care about. You are worried about me being too powerful, which, fair. And nobody cares about Miriam. Okay. Please so that was go. a waste of time. The drones need you. They look up to you. 
Yeah, so randomly when you hit exit, you get the message of please don't go, the drones need you, they look up to you. It's it's an awesome quote. A plus Good job right there. Okay. Um Terraform complete. That you can flatten that. Indigenous life form. Um. Indigenous life forms. Of course. It's just a mind war. Or just a Spore launcher. Sorry. Blue Kitty was making noise. Um What are you doing there? You're foresting. What are you doing here? You're removing fungus. And you're Farming for the time being, I need food over there pretty bad. Indigenous life forms. The problem with patrol Indigenous is that they're not forms. stopping like they're supposed to when somebody's spotted. Indigenous life forms. Life forms. All lost. That's sad. Turn complete. Oh. Yep. I'm losing a lot. <laughs> really? Superior training and superior reached. weaponry have, when taken together, a geometric effect on overall military strength. Well-trained, well-equipped troops can stand up to many more times their lesser brethren than linear arithmetic would seem to indicate. Spartan Battle Manual So, command centers allow all land units to have plus two morale when they get kicked out of the colony. So, basically, they're allowing you to start off with some levels, which is good. Um, we're going to start crawling. We need to start working on that soon. Do I want to be there or do I want to be one further down? More land is better, but the land over here is kind of garbage. Screw it. Lab 3 it is. Load template. My lovely unit got destroyed almost immediately, which cool. Just what I wanted. Um, you're gonna... I don't know. You've got a mirror next to you. You're high up. Sure. You garbage tile. Terraform complete. Okay. Please kill that thing. Thank you. It, it, uh, map glitches occasionally happen. It's a thing. Indigenous life form. So I should probably talk about why Indigenous I'm playing life this. Form. Nice. Mod recovered. Um, why I'm playing this instead of Hollow Knight. So what it is is that my mental state is Turn awful complete. right now, to put it mildly. Production complete. And I do not want to experience new things as a result. I am... I actually talked a little bit about this with my therapist earlier today. Um, she has no idea how the hell I'm holding on right now with all of the crap that's going on. So, I'm trying my darndest to not go off the deep end, basically. Um, or, in short, I'm trying my best to not introduce new experiences that I'm not expecting. Because I don't know how well I'm going to be able to handle them. Does that make sense? Terraform. Complete. New is scary, old is not. Energy resources. Energy resources, okay. Oh, I didn't even check Nutrient the resources. And Cool. How about you go attack one of them as you die? Turn complete. 
Yang has beaten us on military again. We lost a couple of mind worms, so that's not going to help things. Yeah. Well, there's apparently Gaians right over there. Cool. Indigenous life forms. Indigenous life forms. It kind of makes sense. This is nearby Gaian territory. Monolith. Okay. Poor Gaians. They started next to me. Poor saps. Invalid terraform command. You're a slope. You're a slope Invalid too, terraform right? yeah. command. This might be a better spot for, you know, food. combo so yeah um i am not in a good mental state to be able to start anything new right now so it was between this or might magic complete. trilogy or might magic uh i can't remember what it's called now it's a mod that merges might magic six seven and eight together so games that i've played before but maybe not have done a let's play of them in the same manner And I decided I've been putting off this Let's Play for far too long. Let's stop it. Oh, hi, Morgan. You're not going to like me because I'm currently green. Ah, uh, War Deck, The Hive, in exchange, I get money and a Pact of Brotherhood. You know, Sparta already wants me to attack The Hive. Yeah, screw it. Yeah, I know you don't like my green. Don't care. You gave me money and the hive's really far away. I mean, the hive is way down here. I'm over there. I'm really far away from the hive. I'm less concerned about that right now. Indigenous life form. Um, um. Is that the right thing? Yes, build a condenser. Because that is going to be a crawler location. This is Terraform going to be a warhole. Complete. Turn complete. Production complete. Commons. You should build another unit, I guess. I still haven't had a pop yet. This is unfortunate. Actually, you should build a colony pod. Let's shove out a sea colony pod for us. Production complete. Academic Rock builds its first supply crawler. Okay. And it's time for me to introduce to you supply crawlers. So supply crawlers are an interesting unit. Let's go ahead and take a look at them over here. Um... Supply crawlers by themselves are really basic. They cost 40 resources. They have no abilities. You can add abilities to them. They're not useful ones. And I guess you can add a shield. You can make them into things like a rover supply crawler or a foil supply crawler or anything like that. But they're just basic, ordinary supply crawlers. And they do a couple of things. Um, for those of you that are familiar with older Civ games, the closest unit to a supply crawler is a caravan. So one of the things they can do is transfer resources from one city to another. No one ever uses it for that, by the way. Uh, another thing that you can do is that you can redeem supply crawlers when you are building a wonder at a one-for-one -one rate. So this costs 40 units. If I were to put it into Gagrid Memorial, it would give plus 40 minerals. Also, Request confirmation. Eh, it's still too much. Um, but third, and certainly not least... The supply crawler allows you to gain the resources of the tile that you are on, or one of the resources of the tile that you are on for its home city. So for an example, um, there are no more. Mm. Actually, you should build a former because there's no formers left on this island. <laughs> That's not useful. Also, you should be replaced with a C form or fungicidal C former. Oh, I don't have a fungicidal regular former right now. That's eh, fine. Anyway, um, 
So for an example, let's say that I'm going to put the crawler here. Terraform this is a really complete. bad spot for it, and I'll continue next turn with what happens with it. But let's say, for instance, I put the crawler Indigenous there. Indigenous life forms. Oh. Indigenous life forms. I don't want money. Indigenous life forms. I don't even want the. Oh. Have you gone yet? Yes, you have. Damn it. I don't even want I want money. Um, Indigenous life forms. Turn complete. Production complete. Uh, I'll continue my thought when it's actually my turn again. And able to control things. Uh, sure, why not? Go with the sea farm. Eh, actually, sea farm's only gonna get you three food or something like that. Research hospital's probably better in this case. Or, uh, 12 is not really enough to do much with a wonder. Production sure. complete. Um, so let's go back to that crawler. So, action is that you can convoy resources. So, because this is a forest tile, I can get either one nutrient per turn, two minerals per turn, or one energy per turn. Um, obviously this is a really bad tile to do something like this with. What you want to do is you want to do it on a tile that has a large amount of resources of one of these varieties. Um, preferably food, although boreholes work really well too. Indigenous life forms. Indigenous life forms. Life forms. So, yeah, um, the point is, is that crawlers are the first stage of being more advanced in how you play SMAC. Um, I've seen people come up with the idea that they should be crawling everything and have nothing but specialists in their cities. So things like talents and so on. Because you don't need to worry about unhappy people at that point. Or happy people, it's irrelevant. And talents will give you more science than, say, working a tile usually will. Not to mention, it's a quick way of bootstrapping the local area. What are you doing? going to sleep. You're going to move. Turn complete. Production complete. Cancel orders. Really expecting a pop by now. I don't know what's going on with that. And yes, I keep using that term and I don't, and you don't know what it means. I'm aware. I think and my thoughts cross the barrier into the synapses of the machine, just as the good doctor intended. But what I cannot shake, and what hints as things to come, is that thoughts cross back. In my dreams, the sensibility of the machine invades the periphery of my consciousness. Dark. Rigid. Cold. Alien. Evolution is at work here, but just what is evolving remains to be seen. Commissioner Pravin Lal, Man and Machine. So yeah, um, neural grafting is an interesting technology. Uh, it does not actually give us any type of units, but it's one of the most powerful unit bonuses in the game, just maybe not right now. Um, it gives us a couple of facilities. The Bioenhancement Center is a... Facility that gives plus two morale to all units produced in that location, which is great. Uh, in addition, the neural amplifier increases side defense or side attack. It's one of the two. Okay, yeah, all of that's done. Let's find out. Side defense. Um, but the main thing is this miscellaneous thing here, where units can now be designed with two special abilities at once. 
Um, that will end up meaning quite a bit to us a bit later. I'll explain in a bit. But first off, we need a new tech. Um, let's explain some of the tech. So D initiative, this gives us a new chassis, namely the cruiser. The cruiser is a faster version of the hydrofoil, which is what our primary water based craft are right now. So if we want to go fast, D initiative is great for an island hopping area. Also good for an island hopping is D air power, which gives us our first planes or the needle jet chassis. Uh, in addition, both of these give us their respective morale locations, either the naval yard for sea or the aerospace complex for air. Um, aerospace complexes in particular, we're going to need a lot of eventually. And there is a wonder later on that is an aerospace complex in every city for free. We will absolutely be rushing that. Um, D initiative gives us the maritime control center, which is a naval yard in every city. So they're roughly equivalent to each other for our purposes. Centauri Meditation gives us the ability to build Isles of the Deep, which are the best transport unit in the game. And no, I am not joking about that. Um, cruiser transports can carry more, especially higher level ones. But Isles of the Deep can also attack. And there's a lot to be said about a unit that can both defend itself and also transport things. The downside is that its carrying capacity is based off of its level. So, eh. Um, Xeno Empathy Dome is going to be great for us. In the near term, I want a pop first. Same with the Centauri Preserve. I'll explain that when it actually happens. Advanced Subatomic Theory gives us the ability to build a Skunk Works. Skunk Works is um, a facility that allows us to produce prototypes in that city without having to spend the extra resource cost. So it's not the most awesome building in the world. You probably only want a Skunk Works in one or two city stops. Uh, in addition, it gives us the Com Jammer ability. Which and which is um, it allows a unit to have better defense against things that are faster than it. So rovers and eventually hover tanks. Um, I should mention D initiative gives us amphibious pods, which allows us to yarhar our way into capturing enemy units. It's nice. Air superiority. Um, that is the upgrade that allows air units to fight air units. It's garbage. It's a trap. Just telling you right now. All right. Uh, Pre-sentient algorithms. This gives us the Hunter Seeker algorithm, which is a secret project that is among the most powerful secret projects in the game, depending on the AI. I don't know how often the AI is going to be using probe teams, but what it does is it nearly completely eliminates the chance of a probe team working on anything that you own. So you can't take units. You can't take cities. You can't do anything with probe teams. Um, the reason why I tend to rush Hunter Seeker isn't necessarily for my sake, although it neatly patches up, hmm, pardon me, um, sorry, I had Japanese food earlier, um, it neatly patches up the hole that Zakharov has in his faction, because he has a probe penalty, currently we're rocking minus four probe penalty even, the probe penalty means nothing with, uh, Hunter Seeker, because you're just immune to probe teams. There is a way around that, but I've never seen the AI use it. I have a hunch the AI would actually use it if you were running the Thinker's Pod. In addition, it gives us the Covert Ops Center, which allows us to have stronger probe teams, and Polymorphic Encryption, which makes it more difficult to have a unit probed. That ability is garbage and useless, by the way. It's not worth it. Um, it might be worth it against human players, not so much anybody else. Bioengineering. Bioengineering gives us a longevity vaccine, which is a wonder that gives us benefits based off of our economic model. Uh, for us, if I remember correctly, it's minus one drone per city, which is nice. It might be minus two drone per city. I don't remember. So planned or green, one of them's minus one, one of them's minus two. I don't remember which. And then free market, the bonus is energy, if I remember right. Basically, longevity vaccine is... Um, the ability to increase your lifespan, and if you're in a free market, you just turn around and sell it instead of giving it to the people. Anyway, um, more importantly, it gives a clean reactor. Clean reactor is a, um, unit specialty that allows that unit to no longer cost minerals. So there's no upkeep cost. It is effectively independent. Clean reactors are great. We're going to make, make use of a lot of those, most likely, if we ever get into a war. 
which I don't know if we will. Yes, technically we're at two. We're in at Vendetta with both Yang and Miriam, but both are really far away from us. I'm not concerned about them. Finally, we have Adaptive Economics. This is a tech from the Alien Crossfire expansion. What it does is it gives us the Planetary Energy Grid, which is a secret project that puts an energy bank in every one of your cities, which is great. Uh, and it also has the Thermocline Transducer, which is um, similar to an Aqua Farm, where an Aqua Farm gives you plus one food in sea tiles. The Thermocline Transducer is plus one energy in sea tiles. Um, specifically, those are sea tiles that are already producing energy. So it's, yeah, might be useful, might not be. The Planetary Energy Grid, on the other hand, is excellent. Um, so is Hunter Seeker. So are the chassis types. All of these are really good options other than Advanced Atomic Theory. I think that's kind of a garbage option. I think that I want to go with... None of these will actually increase our research speed. That's one thing I have noticed. Nobody's going after me with probe teams because the AI doesn't know that you can attach probe to a ship and use it that way. So it's having to use transports for probe teams. So that's unlikely to come up. Um, air power. Let's go. All right, university base. Let's upgrade our regular scout patrols, of which we only have one. So fun fact, you can upgrade on a per unit basis and you can upgrade all of one type of unit. If you upgrade on a per unit basis, it costs the unit that their turn. If you upgrade all of one unit, it doesn't cost the unit a turn. So since this is only one unit, I'm going to upgrade all one of our unit to something that's a little more powerful. So these are our special abilities. And this is where I've mentioned before that we gained neural, neural grafting had to think about the tech name, where it gives us both of our special abilities, so we can actually attach both of these. So if we really want to, we can make an empath song and also non-lethal police methods. If we wanted to, we can make an empath scout infantry, which will have plus 50% attack versus Psy and also double police powers. We're not using police anyway, so I don't think that's all that useful for us. Same time, it's free. Or it's not free. It is free. That's weird. That shouldn't be. Let's do an empath train scout infantry. And we are going to upgrade it. Upgrade. Cost us 20 energy credits. That's fine. And now, this is an empath scout infantry that can attack. And our odds are much better now compared to what they used to be. And we get money. Yay, money. Um, you're gonna get forested. You are rainy. Improvement already. We don't exists. have soil enrichers yet. Um, let's go ahead and cry. Um we're gonna hide in the base. Terraform complete. <sighs> this doesn't have a normal anything on here. Yeah, this is not a great time and not a great place to have a what you call it, um supply crawler. Also, you should have a normal former, not a special former. What the heck are you doing, me? So what I want to do is that I'm going to be building a borehole, and I'm just going to put it there. Attack! Ooh, that was really bad. Indigenous life forms. Kill. Indigenous life forms. The gods I lost. Of course I did. Unit max required ability. Oh. Bot recover turn complete. There we go. Um, 
we probably have enough money to rush the Ontario Transit system. Request now, confirmation. Oh yeah, we do. Um, so 612 minus 48 is 600 minus 36, which is 564. If you can't tell how weird my brain works, oh, that's right, I can't use that. Uh, how weird my brain works when it comes to math. If you're ever curious. But the planetary transit system will be our last step before we start launching ourselves into massive population growth, probably. Um, but I need better scouts. I should have been doing more with that. Oh, well. Project complete. There we go. Secret project time. Let's -a go. As distances vanish and the people can flow freely from place to place, society will cross a psychological specific heat boundary and enter a new state. No longer a solid or liquid, we have become as a vapor and will expand to fill all available space. And like a gas, we shall not be easily contained. Sister Miriam Godwinson, but for the grace of God. Strangely enough, I really like that quote. Um, because, as much as I don't like Miriam, she's right. Um, hey, look, if humanity had the ability to teleport anywhere across Earth, do you really think we would be seeing our population as it is right now? Of course not. Also, we'd be expanding rapidly into areas that are normally remote, because distance is irrelevant. Um, we're actually already starting to see that a little bit in the United States, post -pan well, not post-pandemic, but during the pandemic. Um, post people caring about the pandemic, unfortunately, um, where like, for instance, I work remotely. I do not have to go into an office, even though the company I work for is in the same city I am. So it doesn't matter where I live. So why do I need to live in the same city? I don't. Anyway, what this does is anything that we found from now on is going to start at population three instead of population one. Um, that can mean that it will immediately starve and go down to two population, by the way. This happens often for me. And also, any base that we have below three, or at three or below population has one fewer drone. That won't, that part won't be all that useful until later on in the game. Maximum population reached. But hey, we did it. All right. Um, you should probably play catch up for a little bit. Uh, with Hab Complex, because I want... Uh, how are you doing on... It's like... You can handle one more population without going over. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go with Hab. And then Research Hospital. Production complete. There we go. Now we have Formers here. You know what? You should also build a Hab. Oh, I do have former. I'm an idiot. That's why I was building sea formers. <sighs> oh, well, I need to go both ways anyway. Um, how are you doing? Three to three. I'd like you to level up a little bit first. You need to sleep. You should stay put for one turn. You can attack. Borehole. We're going to hold. Complete. Although I'm really tempted to just move this unit. You know what? You're actually going to stay put for a turn, and I'm going to move the unit out. Speaking of moving the unit out, you're going to attack. Thank you. And you can go back into the fungus. For I have tasted the fruit. That is a reference to one of Zach's set of quotes. Um, you'll notice that a lot of the quotes sound like they're coming from a book. Um, so Zax is for, uh, I've tasted the fruit among multiple others. Turn complete. Oh, I was hoping that was sure. All right. Biology lab and Zveni Gorodok discovers beneficial bacterium. Zveni Gorodok gets plus one nutrient in every square for the next 10 turns. So earlier, I believe that was the previous video. It might've been the video before. I don't remember which now the, there was an epidemic that got released that caused the population to be halved. And it mentioned that if you have hospital or some other buildings, it would have prevented the epidemic. This is actually what happens when you have those buildings. Um, the biology lab turns it into a boon instead of a penalty, which I find that really interesting. 
Hint, hint. Hello, Lady Deidre. My faction is, in fact, mighty. But I'm not going to give you a tech for free. Would you like a pact of brotherhood? No. Okay. Thought I'd ask. Okay. First off, let's make sure... Yeah, we're okay on Psych right now. I want to take that stupid thing out. It is bothering me. Terraform complete. Get rid of fungus. Hold. Indigenous life. Nom. Get us some money. I'm spending it all. Ooh, that was a tough battle. And you're going to O for minerals. So right now that is giving us. So if we open up Academic Rock, you can actually see that it's plus two minerals per year. Also, our eco damage went up, which was intentional on my part. I'm trying to trigger something. Um, once that borehole completes, it'll upgrade to plus six minerals per year, which is nice. Um, I told you to stay instead of doing something. That was my mistake. Um, you're going to force that tile. Turn complete. That's all deep sea. That's unfortunate. Oh, we finally did it. All right. We have a new interlude. In the darkness, something goes, and you are lying on your back on a hillside among the soft orange and purple tendrils of a vast fungal forest. The sound of running water gurgles loudly in, your in the vicinity of your right ear, but you can't make out the source. Panic rises briefly in your throat as you realize you have no filter mask or oxygen mask. Dressed only in your work suit. But breath comes easily, and you detect no signs of nitrogen narcosis. From somewhere, a voice seems to whisper, Earth Sakharov. But perhaps it's only the breeze. Time passes, and you notice that the fungus is growing perceptibly. The spore is gently nudging you as they slowly stretch and twist. Fungal bloom! Panic returns full force as you struggle to free yourself from the encoaching tendrils. Earth Sakharov! The voice again, more insistent. The last tendrils break and you are free and dashing across an endless field of purple and orange. Earth Zakharov, beware! From close behind you and then... Discontinuity. In the darkness, something goes... I can't do the popping sound effect. And you're lying on your back in the gene therapy tank. The gauzy restraints slowly retracting. The remaining fluid in the tank gurgles away through the tube behind your head. And you slowly sit up. Four weeks of your life... Once every ten years, you spend in this state. Small price to pay for immortality, or something close to it. Have remembered dream tugs at you as you pull on a clean work suit, but you can't quite recapture it. This is what's referred to as a pop. And it is fungus growing on its own. So the older civilization analog to this is pollution. And pollution causing terrain to start flipping from existing states to more swamp or desertified. Um, this is a bit different. So, first off, Production a pop complete. is not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, yes, it destroys all of the improvements on that tile. In this case, it wasn't even inside my city radius, so I really don't care. Um, and it's forest, which could even grow back. But the first set of pops are actually positive because what they do is that they increase. Um, let me switch over to a different colony really fast. Um, honestly, you should be going for colony pot at this point. Um, what they do is that they increase our mineral limit. So you'll notice that eco damage is now four instead of it was five. So every pop that we get will increase our number of clean minerals that we can have, or the minerals before we start taking eco damage by one. Pops are caused by eco damage. So this represents that there is a 4% chance next turn that this city will have a pop happen next to it or in its base range. The first few pops are free. 
The only thing they do is grow fungus in that tile. There's no extra negative thing. Past that, the pops will start having some very negative consequences. Namely, that tile will start having mindworms growing out of it. Mindworms that you can't easily capture. And then it'll be more than just mindworms. You'll actually start seeing what are called locusts of Chiron, which is the alien life form's most powerful unit by a very large margin. Um, it's also one of the best units in the game. So if you can capture one, that's great. Usually you can't capture them. So uh, anyway, um, the other thing that can happen is that you can start having global warming. And this is also in older civilization games for reference, but basically the more pollution that there is going on in the world, the higher chance that you will have an event that will trigger global warming. Unlike a civilization game though, what global warming does is it actually rises all of the water levels, which means that you start flooding cities, which is a very fascinating way of handling things and is actually a strategy that I have used before for conquering the world is just flooding everything. Um, you can actually control, uh, global warming and global cooling at some point later on in the game, although it's always touchy and that's probably intentional, but one of the things that I don't, I think it was Prac X, it might've been thinkers did was alter how fast it is for the game to start having global warming because otherwise, and what it was is that this game uh, it's long story short, the AIs were weird. Um, Indigenous life forms. And the AIs wouldn't necessarily Indigenous trigger global warming on their own very often. That's one of the things that has changed. All right, you'll notice that this fungal tower, I actually have a chance of defeating. So I'm going to do it. Maybe. Yay, success. I leveled up and I gained 50 monies. Yay, monies. You're going to sleep. Oh, um. Rover over here. Actually, no, the rover can sit there. That's fine. Oh, hello there. Fight. I'm losing. No, okay. Indigenous life. Mine. Mine. Turn complete. Okay, I'm starting to see lighter. So deep water is bad. We don't want to deal with deep water. Um, the reason why is that deep water uh, is not good for bases. You actually have to rise it in order to do anything with it. And when you rise it, it's probably going to end up being fungus. And by rise it, I mean lower the depth of the raise the depth get it closer to land whatever anyway um oh the other thing dealing with pop so there are other things that will also increase the cl clean mineral limit which we can now start actually doing something with which is nice um building tree farms for instance every tree farm that is built will increase the clean mineral limit by one um the same goes with a hybrid forest which is the upgraded tree farm and the same goes with the centauri preserve and temple of chiron they all increase clean mineral limit by one. The trick with those buildings is one, it doesn't start increasing it until after you have your first pop. This is why I've been trying to trigger the pop for reference. Um, the second interesting thing when it comes to that is that it increases it by one whenever you build it, which means that you can sell the building and build it again, increasing it by one again. You don't necessarily want to do that with a tree farm, which tree farms will increase the amount of food and energy that you get in forest tiles, but the Centauri Preserve only increases the mineral limit. So you keep building and selling it over and over and over again. One of. Uh, tree farms will also reduce the amount of eco damage that you get as a result of terraforming. And if you have both tree farm and hybrid forest, that city is immune to eco damage from terraforming. Yep. This is not going well for Morgan. Enemy project initiated. I have a hunch Morgan's not going to have anything left. Ooh, you're Production trying to build the planetary complete. data links. 
Huh. Maybe I'm going to have to care about that. Um, yeah. Go ahead and build a bio lab. Actually, let's not build a bio lab. Let's build another colony. We need to start expanding faster. We're not expanding anywhere near fast enough in my mind. Terraform complete. Get you back to base. You're gonna sleep. Indigenous life Nom. Oh. Damn it. Nom. Complete. Getting close to a landmass. I don't know where. Oh, actually, I can see a greater right here. So I just need to go that way. And I will find land. Oh, I didn't realize peacekeepers were building that. I must not have been paying attention. All right, you have built a colony pod. Congratulations. You can now build HAB. I will allow it. Dang, that bumper crop is nice. Just look at how much food I have. Oh, um, something I should mention is inefficiency. So this is something that comes up in older Civ games along with Alpha Centauri. Uh, specifically, it's Civ 4 and older. Inefficiency is what Civ 4, 3, 2, and 1 call corruption. Inefficiency is based off of a relatively complex formula on number of bases that you have and also distance from your capital. So in general, you want to keep your headquarters in the case of smack uh in general you want to keep your headquarters in roughly the center part of your empire i will probably be moving it at some later point but honestly as long as the inefficiency that i have isn't completely ridiculous at this point it looks to be roughly 20 percent a little under then it's fine i'm not concerned about that little production amount complete. but for instance right now university base is the headquarters area university base is actually a reasonable center point of our empire you'll notice that i may have been doing that intentionally um it won't be forever though because we're off in a corner of the map eventually our center of empire is probably going to be down here planetary archives may end up being our headquarters at some point anyway we're going to build over here somewhere or are we going to build here building there actually doesn't sound like a bad idea we're going to have one tile overlap, but that's not that big of a deal. Got a forest. I'm going to sit there to heal. Improvement already exists. So, how much food is this tile giving us right now? Uh, seven nutrients. Yeah, that's going to be good for a um, supply crawler. Which I'll queue up. You are garrison. Go back to the existing thing. Um, I'm going to start connecting cities up over here. You're flat and arid. You're just going to forest. No reason not to forest, right? Foresting is the answer to everything. Gonna heal for a turn. Oops, did not mean to move you like that. Disembark mind worm. Turn complete. And there is the quote for the planetary data links. It is a very poignant quote, so I'm actually going to be reading this one out loud. As the Americans learned so painfully in Earth's final century, free, free flow of information is the only safeguard against tyranny. The once chained people whose leaders at last lose their grip on information flow will soon burst with freedom and vitality. But the free nation gradually constricting its grip on public discourse has begun its rapid slide into despotism. Beware of he who would deny you access to information for in his heart, he dreams himself your master. That last sentence is the reason why I started playing this game again. Um, not to get into too heavy details, but look at what's been going on in the US as of late. And we'll leave it at that. Um, 
There's a lot of really good quotes in this game, by the way, if you couldn't tell. I'm a little sad that I didn't build the building, but only so I could hear the quote. Uh, maybe I'll end up playing it later. I don't know. Actually, can I cause this to play easily? Let's find out. Uh, do, 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 do. Where is that at? Movies. Um, that was Planetary Data Links. Planetary Data Links. Let's see. Find my batch file. Hi, Boo. As the Americans learned so painfully in Earth's final century, free flow of information is the only safeguard against tyranny. The once chained people whose leaders at last lose their grip on information flow will soon burst with freedom and vitality. But the free nation gradually constricting its grip on public discourse has begun its rapid slide into despotism. Beware of he who would deny you access to information, for in his heart he dreams himself your master. Commissioner Previn Lal, UN Declaration of Rights. Creepy, isn't it? Also, yes, artistic nudity. Um, I'll throw a warning on the description of this video, hopefully. Um, of course forms. it is. Indigenous life forms. You need to sleep. <laughs> Terraform complete. Honestly, we might be at a point where we can do that. Just shove everything into science. Give me all the science. complete see this one was triggered on a research hospital so the Prometheus outbreak out ah, Prometheus virus did nothing yep I'm gonna lose that foil all right we have gotten a second pop and another interlude ever since the incident in the gene therapy tank you have re experienced recurring dreams and nightmares centered around fungal blooms which encroach ever so rapidly on the outskirts of major, major human settlements. You even postponed your most recent longevity treatment in an effort to avoid the trans state, but the dreams have now crept into your normal REM sleep as well. In your most recent dream, just before the major bloom at Akademagorok, Gorodok, the presence that you have come to call the Voice returned once again. Bert Sakharov. From some invisible spot behind you. Hello, voice. That's not Zach's accent at all. Who are you? Who? Difficult concept for we, Earth Sakharov. Mind and flower, many dreamings. Never before another. You may call we voice. Growth dreams come. Beware. Beware? What do you want, voice? Want. More confused Zakharov thinking. Ache of slumber broken. Earth Zakharov is animal. We. Stranger. We. Animal. Energy. Mines. Roads. Sensors. Condensers. Boreholes. Breakers of flower dream. End of joy. Growth dream now comes. End of animal. Stop it, voice. Why are you telling me this? Why? Dream word. Dream song. Why 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 Silence get out of my mind Discontinuity So yeah, um remember that quote earlier from the weather paradigm where someone or something is controlling the planet? Meet voice Voice is the planet. We'll get more into that later. I told you this game actually has plot. Nobody believed me. All right, so we have a second pop. We're going to slow down our eco damage a little bit, so hopefully we won't trigger too many more pops. I want to say it's the first three or five are safe, and everything past that is unsafe. And I don't want to trigger too much more than that, if I can help it. 
I need that to level up some. Academy Park is going there. Load template, land one. But see, it started at three population. Also, it has just enough food because of that nutrient spot and only because of that nutrient spot. Nom. Um, you're gonna change your home to there? Of course you did. Piece of garbage. Do you have a, no you don't. Maybe I should build the Chaos Skim ship here again. Yeah, we're just going to do this. Um, that's minus 16, so that's 209. Oh, it's actually at four per. Whoops. Oh, well, I'll have some extra minerals next turn. It's fine. Oh, do you see what I mean by the patrolling ones? Just ignore the existence of other things. Um, let's see. Can I? No, I can't get there next turn. Oh, well. That's going to be annoying. Turn complete. Of course I did. The chief complete. aim of their constitution and government is that whenever public needs permit, all citizens should be free so far as possible to withdraw their time and energy from the service of the body and devote themselves to the freedom and culture of the mind. For that, they think, is the real happiness of life. Sir Thomas More, Utopia, Data Links. So, yep, uh, we now have a HAB complex complete, which allows Gagrin Memorial to go above seven population, which it will immediately do. Um, so we are growing in 15 turns. And we have eight turns for the research hospital to finish. And if I remember it, the research hospital will also drop our um, thing by one. Out of curiosity. Production complete. Oh, I'll get to that in a moment. Oh. at the apex of the first trial of victory, for it combines mobility, flexibility, and initiative. Spartan battle manual. Strangely enough, we don't have the initiative. It's actually not a prerequisite for this, but I do like how they're all actual techs in this game. Um, so we can fly, Oops. which is nice. I like flying, but honestly, that chassis type is kind of garbage. What isn't garbage on the other hand is copter, which is what I'm going to immediately go after next. MMI, our mind machine interface. This is, so I tend to break the game up in components early game is generally until air power. Um, for me, it really changes at Mind Machine Interface, but early game is until air power. Um, early to mid game ends at fusion power, and that's where all hell breaks loose. Usually that's where I start declaring more at. And it'll become obvious why when we get there. Um, yeah, you can have. Or, yeah, you, know, you already have a tree farm. Okay. Production complete. Um, you were trying to build a sea colony. Go ahead and resume that. Um. Right, I was going to upgrade this unit here. Because I, oh, right, I want to upgrade you to a police unit, actually. But you're currently a trans scout patrol. I want you to be a non lethal trans scout patrol, or trans scout infantry, as it's called. And I want to see if that actually changes police. It does. Sweet. So. What non-lethal methods does is that it doubles the power of police. However, I'm only allowed to have one unit as police. So does that mean that I count as having two units in that territory, which means it still only polices for one drone? Or does it mean that I can police both drones with a single unit? And the answer is I can police both drones with a single unit. So that's what I want. Um, 
you are going to build somewhere. I don't know where yet. Although, honestly, here it would be great if that wasn't a fungus spot. Or that wasn't a fungus spot. That would even be even better. Um... This spot isn't too bad. Yeah, it is. Ugh. I really haven't done a whole bunch of scouting, have I? Mm. This is unfortunate. Right there would be perfect if that wasn't a fungus tile. But this should be a reasonable spot. It's kind of far away, but it'll work. Life forms. I believe I have a. Yeah, I have a spore launcher there. Of course, I captured it. I don't care about. Oop. You want to be at Planetary Archives. You are getting disbanded. I do not want to deal with that. You were already produced next to nothing in resources. This is bad enough as it is. sleep that's not what I want to do kill that thing please really really that's the second time that units died from a freaking grumble Life forms. Turn complete. Okay, are you independent? Yes. Production complete. <sighs> Terraform complete. You're 9 to 12, so no. I'm hearing a cat cry, okay. It's at an hour, so I'm going to end it at the end of this turn. Also. Please. Um. complete. Alright, let's go ahead and end it here. Hope you've enjoyed this internet, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!